So, hello students, welcome back to SciMath videos. Today, let us see the small video on how to understand and how to draw the Venn diagrams. We know Venn diagrams is a pictorial representation of sets. We can represent the sets in the form of diagram that is the Venn diagrams. So, now let us see how to draw the Venn diagrams. Let us start with first one. Let us take how to draw A union B. Okay, if somebody gives A union B and asks us to draw it, how to draw it? Okay, so first, always we have to draw a box of universal set. Okay, so we know universal set is a set of all the elements. Okay, next let A be one set and B be one more set. Let us imagine that there are some common terms for both of them. Okay, so I will write this as A here as B. Okay, so now what is A union B? What is actually A union B? A is set and B is set. If you mix both them, okay, it makes one more new set. It's a mixture of both the terms A and B. You are unionizing, you are bringing all A elements and B elements together. So, what should I now share? All the elements must be in A and we, we have all the thing in B also. Just mixing A and B, okay. So, I am shading the A and B. So, this is the A union B. Okay, Venn diagram. Now, let us see the Venn diagram for A intersection B. How to draw for A intersection B? Same thing. Okay, first we should draw the box of universal set. Okay, so now we have set A and set B, A and B. Okay, universal means what? Uni uh, sorry, intersection. Intersection means what? Okay, the common terms between which are common to both A and B. So, where is that? Where will that be the elements be? Here, right? See overlapping portion. So, this is A, A, U intersection B. Okay. So, now let us see next one. Okay. What if the uh, two elements are disjoint? Okay. What if it is a disjoint set? Okay. How to draw a disjoint set? It is very simple. Disjoint means what? There are no elements common with A and B. No common elements for A and B. So, you will draw union set. A set is separate and B sets is separate because no common if they, they, they will only overlap when there is something common elements here disjoint set is something where there are no common elements. So, it is they do not overlap this is the Venn diagram for disjoint set. Okay. Now, let us see next one next what is the diagram for A minus B what is the diagram for Venn diagram for A minus B what is A minus B we all know. Okay, just will I'll take an example now. A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. So B is equal. Let me take an example. Let us 3 comma uh, 2 comma 3 comma 4. Okay, now if I do A minus B, what happens? What is A minus B? It is just I have to cancel the terms which are common. The remaining one is A minus B. So A minus B is just one. One will be in the set. A minus B set is just one. So now how to draw this in Venn diagram? Okay, so first you draw the universal set for all of the Venn diagram. You have universal set, A set and B set. Okay, now A set, B set. When you when you do A minus B, what happens? The common terms gets goes off. We are remained with one. Okay, so what to shade? Now two three is here. It is gone. Common two three two three four is common for A and B. This is A and this is B. So what is only remaining? Only A. So, I just shared this one. Okay, this is A minus B, correct? What is B minus A then? What is B minus A? B minus A is just the opposite, okay? Just this one. You should share this one. This is B minus A, right? So this is B minus A. Okay, you can take example and try out. Then what is the middle one? We already know, we already did it. See, this shared, if at all, if I shared this, this is A. Okay, A intersection of B. Understood this one? So, now let us see Venn diagram for A complement. What is A complement? Okay, for, for all the complement, we should have of course the universal set. So, now again we will draw the box with the universal set, a big box with the universal set outside and one set A. Okay, I will write inside only A. Now, what is the complement? Complement we know. 
the a set is always a subset of universal set okay the complement is remaining then a common terms the uncommon terms is the a complement alva not a a you can tell less a complement not a also you can tell not a means what which are not there in a so what i will share i will share the outside one right i should share the outside one not the inside one because you take an example if you want you can take an example okay let me take example 1 2 universal set 1 2 3 4 okay a set has 1 now what is a complement okay a complement is the not a not a is 3 2 3 4 where is see universal set 1 2 3 4 is there but one is common for a and universal remaining is 2 3 4 which is outside that is why i have shaded the outside one okay so now let us see few more example few let us now better we verify the de morgan's law with the venn diagrams okay what is the de morgan's law okay de morgan's law we know that okay we know what is de morgan's law i will just write the de morgan's law here so we will verify the venn diagram for de morgan's law so we will also learn the venn diagram for complement also so let me first do venn diagram for this one okay let us prove this now let me take just take this one first i'll draw venn diagram for a union b complement okay let us go one by one step by one step i'll draw a venn diagram we know we have a universal we have two sets a and b what is a union b it is entire thing right it is the entire thing it is a common thing both a and b whatever is there you have to shade okay so what is a complement of b then the remaining one right the outside one not a union b the remaining one is outside one so what will be the diagram okay the diagram universal set two sets okay which are a and b now complement of this i want complement here see remember not a union b complement so the outside one complement is not a or b the meaning of this one is a union b not just take not not in that okay the outside one okay you can just this is one now let us see will will, will we get the same venn diagram for a complement intersection of b complement okay i should get same if it is uh, it is a de morgan's law if i verify with venn diagram also it must come the same so let me take an example now okay let me take again first okay let me draw the venn diagram only for let me okay two union a and b okay so here if you see what is a complement what is a complement a, a complement is what other than whatever is outside then a outside a is the a complement not a so what is outside so these are all the outside one right these are all see this is not in see this, this you must include only this one see you should not you should not draw here other than a this a should not be shaded this a see the entire a must not be shaded entire a remaining entire a i must shade everything okay so now let me shade b okay universal a and b now what is b complement i am doing separate separately first a complement and then b complement what is b complement i have to shade entire thing okay not b the entire thing other than b i should shade so it's not even see it's not shade here it's not shade this portion because it has a in it it has b in it okay now what is intersection of a what do you mean the intersection which is common to both okay now let us see the common shading portion for both what is the common shading portion for both you see see here it is shaded not shaded here if you see not shaded not shaded okay it is common here if you see okay shaded and uh, not shaded if you see here what is the only common thing the common thing is the not shaded one here and here it is not shaded okay and of course this also is not shaded we should only take the what the common thing for both okay which is common intersection means common element so here the common uh, shaded portion is the outside one so what will be the final diagram okay and let us also check will the final diagram will be same for the as the venn diagram u a and b see common 
intersection common so see the common thing is this the outside one okay this is not common this is not common this is shaded non shaded is not common no need to shade only so just shade the outside one now if you see here see this both are equal correct see this both are equal see i have proved the de morgan's law for this okay so now let us see one more let us also verify one more de morgan's law one more de morgan's a union b dash is equal to a complement oh it is one second it is a complement union a complement union b complement okay i just did this one okay so it is here uh, intersection one second it is intersection so here it becomes a complement and this is the de morgan's law here one here one de morgan so now let us uh, prove the de morgan's law for this one okay now let me let me do first for this one when diagram for a intersection b complement so i already know what is a intersection b diagram this is the a intersection b diagram u a b so intersection means i have to just shade the common one now in the next diagram what i want the final diagram the final diagram is what is the final diagram i have to find the a intersection b complement other than not other than the this shaded portion what are the remaining thing okay the remaining thing is u i'll write a b the remaining thing is the entire thing then the overlapping one okay you have to shade the entire thing except the overlapping one shade the entire one okay this must not be shared okay this will not be shaded here okay correct Re leaving that rest everything now let us see for now let us check for a dash u dash b okay so here first what i should do what is we already drawn a dash see it is already here okay it is already here a dash okay you should not shade the b remaining everything should be shaded b also not shade the b remaining everything now union what is the meaning of union union means if you just mix both of them how will the this will look mix both of them if you mix this and this what will happen union means just mixing both the sets in this it is same all the elements mixing see here this both you'll mix this both you'll mix you'll be just even when we when we union unionize both the set what will be remain okay see here it is universal set two sets a and b union means what the same what are same things for same things for that not common thing but you have to do everything okay everything see if you see here for both a is shaded b is shaded outside is also shaded but we are seeing the both inside one okay see here see the overlapping one is not shaded in the both the thing okay it is again the <coughs> so what you will do you will just shade everything <coughs> you will just shade everything remaining the only you should okay if you understood the union concept it is very easy so just remaining this remaining is leave this and just shade everything so in both you see so this equal to this we again proved the we again have proved what we have proved the de morgan's law using the venn diagrams okay now you would have uh, got an idea of venn diagrams now let us solve venn diagrams for three sets what if there are three sets okay how to go about when there are three sets it is very simple i will just we already it is ready here i'll just explain it using this one first b union c there are three sets b union c was all b all c okay since it is overlap since three sets are overlapped but here b union c all the set all the elements in b all the elements in c so b and c are shaded next let us see here see a intersection b means what a and b the common terms will mean overlapping portion it is shaded okay next if you see here this let us do very carefully okay first see a intersection b union c first what is b union c b union c i would have shaded this both correct okay let me draw this let me show it okay let me show it okay this is very important let me draw venn diagram for a intersection b union c okay so i should draw three three venn diagrams because it's three set so not the venn three venn diagrams three separate sets i'll draw it step by step okay in the first step remove the bracket for the first what b union c b union c what you will shade 
you will share the entire okay let me take a let me take b and let me take c so you will share the entire a and b entire a and b now what the next step it is a intersection of this both okay means what if the a set the common to a set and b what is the common for a and b intersect for b union set b union c set what is the common thing for both the common thing remained we are just remain this right u here u here what is the common thing remaining for both of them a b see what is the common thing for all these three what is the common thing this is the common right this portion is common so so what what all you should share here i will share this one okay and this one okay i just shared it fully okay this is the venn diagram for this one correct the same thing is happened here also now let us see this is very simple a intersection b just overlap the middle one so now we'll see the last one you see okay a intersection b and let me do this okay let me do this separately a intersection b union of a okay so now let me draw again we have to draw a similar okay similar one i'll draw in two steps two or three steps so that you will understand so union set first a union b or a intersection b this is a this is b set and this is c set okay what is a intersection b just just share the a intersection b the overlapping one entire thing will be shaded correct okay so now let me so let me see the next bracket one the next bracket one that is there a union c okay a union c i will draw a union c union set three venn diagram okay a b and c okay now a intersection c means what a and c the overlapping one must be shaded okay now what is it, what we have to do this both venn diagrams you have to union union means just add if you add, just overlap this and this what happens we overlap this and this this is already there and this will come here so what will be your set what will be your venn diagram if you just overlap this both you will get okay just very simple three sets a b and c what you will get if you overlap this already there this also will go here so this is the set and if you see here it is already the same okay understood the venn diagrams so this is about uh, for three set and two set venn diagram this is the very basic okay if, if you understood this you can crack any of the questions given in any of the competitive exam or your board examinations so thank you and kindly subscribe to the channel